Hello folks, this is the Dehancer team. Today we'll talk about film compression, a new tool in Dehancer plugins. First, let's look how the electronic sensor and the film emulsion react to light. As you can see, increasing the exposure when shooting with the digital camera rather quickly leads to clipping in the highlights. Film, especially color negatives, behaves differently. The shadows become lighter when the exposure is increased, but the highlights are not clipped even when overexposed by a few stops. Clearly, color and contrast are distorted in an overexposed image, but the information in the highlights is retained even at extreme overexposures of six stops and more. This is almost unattainable with a digital camera. We call this film feature Highlights Compression. It appears not only in overexposed photos, but also in normally exposed ones. Film Compression Tool in Dehancer it allows you to fine-tune the redistribution of highlights toward the mid-tones. At the same time, the mid-tones are shifted slightly, while the shadows and mid-shadows are preserved. An image compressed in this way looks more analog and becomes more flexible for further manipulation with exposure, contrast, film and print profiles, etc. Let's look at the film compression tool in detail. The first parameter is impact. It determines the amount of compression applied to the highlights. The higher the impact value, the more the highlights are pushed toward the mid-tones. Next is the white point. The white point determines the exposure threshold of the photographic media. The smaller this value, the closer it is to the mid-tone, and the more range of highlights falls into the clipping range. The overall image appears more contrasty in this case. Conversely, as you increase the white point value, the overall contrast decreases, clipping becomes less prominent, and the highlights may become dimmer. The tonal range parameter represents the width of the range affected by film compression tool. A minimum value of 0 means no compression. A maximum value of 100 means that the compression affects the wide range from the brightest highlights almost all the way down to the deepest shadows. The last parameter is color density, and it adjusts the color intensity of the compressed range. The point is that different films reproduce color differently as they get closer to the highlights. Slides, on the other hand, remain more vibrant, even though the clipping occurs earlier. When color density is zero, the saturation in the highlights is low, which is more typical for negative films. Color density of 100 provides maximum saturation, and the image looks more like positive films. As you can see, this tool is quite easy and very useful. I would even say it is strictly necessary for film-like color correction, just like the other Dehancer tools, though. By the way, this feature has been implemented in other Dehancer products, including the iOS app. That's all for today. I look forward to your likes and comments. Thank you, and see you again.